Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Rule of law. We were elected as a government. 2021. Amongst the measures we said public land campaigned was that we will restore the rule of law. We campaigned on that platform. We will restore the rule of law. We will not allow hooliganism. We would not allow thuggery of what we experienced 10 years earlier, particularly seven years. We didn't see that under President Sata's three years. May so rest in peace. One person took over to complete that 10-year term through elections. It was thuggery. It was brutality. It was bloodshed. One person who works for APSA told me, Mr. President, we couldn't wear our APSA uniform, which is red, going to the office. We would have to put it in the bag, wear something else, maybe green. And when we reach the bank, we go in the toilet and change and wear our red uniform. APSA or Zanako, for that matter. Have we forgotten? Have we forgotten, fellow citizens, so quickly? Natulavakale. Hmm. Not too distant, but baby. That's what we members say. But I'm saying, have we forgotten what was happening behind us? Not far behind, just very near. That some of us couldn't use airports, couldn't go to church, couldn't go to traditional ceremonies. Ngawaya ni shiluburi. Shiba kupuma. Sana. Mulopa was a normal thing. Blood was a normal thing in the markets daily. That intercity blood was normal. Simpson building around there. It was normal. Have we forgotten, colleagues? And one of our commitments to the people of Zambia was when you put us in office, we will restore order and the rule of law. I am here to stand, and I stand here, so to say, to reinforce that position. Again, I told you, don't misunderstand my patience to mean I'm unaware. No, that would be a grave mistake, completely grave mistake. We are aware, we are monitoring. Those who orchestrated violence are missing something. I'm aware. Those who emulated the violent ones are also missing Thakari. I can see. I'm watching, I'm looking, as you are doing yourselves. But I'm here to say to you, that thuggery, that violence, even when old habits die hard, even when thugs mutate from one political party to another, to continue their journey of violence, I'm here to tell you that. That will not be allowed. That will not be tolerated. Absolutely not.
If we need to reinforce the laws, we will do that. But I think for now, the laws that are there are very clear that violence is not part of us. And therefore, the police do not need my reminder. Law enforcement agencies is not there to negotiate. You are not there to negotiate whether to arrest somebody or to put them in. When they turn violent, they become thugs in public roads or in other places. You don't need the president to give you a call. You don't need the minister of home affairs and internal security to give you a call to remind you to enforce the law. Let me draw the distinction. At that point, negotiations are only done in the communities about which law should be amended or reinforced. Choose your own language or expression. In Parliament, you negotiate, you reach out to other MPs, can we amend this law? But as for the police and law, other law enforcement, there is no negotiations. You just enforce the law. There's no negotiation. That's not your role. You want someone to negotiate, pass it to Parliament. And let the parliamentarians lobby each other. Yours is to enforce the law. If you fail to enforce the law, it will be an admittance of failure to perform your duties. I know what was happening before. I know one thug who went into central police and beat the hell out of the policeman and was never put behind bars. No one in any political party, in any political party, in any church, no matter how big that church is or small, will be allowed to enter a police station and beat policemen and get away with it. Actually, we are looking at that case now. I want that case to come back. What's the problem? So hear me out, fellow citizens. You will not hide behind a political party. You will not hide behind the church. Inside the church or outside the church. You will not hide behind a civil society membership or oasis or anything that will not protect you. You break the law, the police take you. No negotiations. Those guys who were doing thuggery yesterday went to bury a colleague may so rest in peace and from the burial site all before started harassing people throwing obscenities at innocent road users I'm expecting each and every one of them to be arrested you can't claim to do that in the name of supporting HH I call a man. Uh -uh, no. You can't claim that if you get arrested, you will not vote for HH in 2026. Maybe I don't need your vote. I don't want to be a president who is produced by thugs and turn me into a thug. I call a No. And anyone in politics in the church, in the civil society, in the HH home, orchestrating, planning violence, you're on your own. I repeat what I've said. 
If the police are failing, I'll use the army. That's my job. That's the constitutional rights that the head of state who is the commander in chief, if the police fail to discharge their duties, I'll use the military to restore law and order. But the police must ensure that under the law enforcement, we don't go that far. But I can assure you, if you claim you support a genuine support of HH, who has been preaching peace, you can't go in the streets and start beating people. I know we are being provoked. Let me say something here. Once one colleague went into the market and walked around, where there was peace in the markets, now members in the same market started turning on each other. Are you surprised? Why? Because he encouraged that. And if you call that democracy, democratic space, I disagree with you. I totally disagree with you. And no one is above the law. I hear people talk about immunity, immunity. Why are you talking about immunity? The immunity of the head of state is only relevant during the time they are in the presidency. The crimes they commit outside the presidency is not covered by that immunity. That's the law. So why are you talking about immunity? I don't understand. One person goes in the market days, in fact, the same day, members of the same society and market start fighting. Next, we see pangas. We see sticks. So now, for some young people, they're saying, oh, oh so this bloodletting is coming back now. We must defend ourselves. And they shout on social media, and I'm listening, that this president did not allow us to revenge in 2021. That's why Vambinava if you balanced. I'm with you, but I disagree. That's why I did not allow revenge or avenging in on the 16th of August, 2021. If I allowed that, this country would have been in smoke. What country would I want to rule when the country is in smoke? Am I a leader? I'm not. I stand by that. And I want to ask you, PND members, to accept the position of this fellow, to protect every citizen. Now that we did that, we don't also expect anyone else to provoke the citizens and start engineering and recurrence of those memories, brutal memories. No. No one will be allowed to do that. No one. Police, you got my message. I repeat, all those that disturbed, harassed public, the public, damaged someone's property yesterday, we expect them to be arrested. <laughs> those two who are wanting to take us back to the rivers of blood, you will be arrested as well. If you scheme things that don't exist to malign people, well, you're on your own. Those who give sympathy to such people, you will just stand and look because you have no ability to stop them from being thrown in and prosecuted. And prosecutions must be expeditious. I think the point is well made, loud and clear. Very loud and clear. Judiciary must play their part. We all play our part. The executive will play its part. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. 
Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.